Tuned into Recovery TV, the voice of hope, with your host, John J. Tassoni Jr. Discussions and information on addiction and mental health issues. Now, here's John and today's guest. Welcome to Recovery TV, and I'm your host, John Tassoni. We have an epidemic. People are dying. We need to get information out. The gentleman I have with me today, Kurt Harrington, you're not going to believe it. Something's fishy going on here. Something's fishy. Welcome, Kurt. Thank you for joining us today. It's great to be here, John. Thanks for what a, a very interesting introduction. Yeah, yeah, people say, you know, John, I need to find out more information on recovery. You came to me, to a friend. Something's fishy. What the heck, Kurt? Something's fishy. How did you get involved in this business and helping people in recovery? So I started having an aquarium from when I was a kid, eight years old. <clears throat> for, it was a Christmas present for my mom and I had a goldfish or two. And by the time I was 15, I was just, if you will, addicted to aquariums. It was awesome, it was alluring, it was attractive, um, fascinating, there's science, there's intrigue. And uh, I decided that I needed to earn a few dollars to, uh, to be able to uh, save for a car and then ultimately college. So through high school, I worked uh, cleaning other people's aquariums with the tools that I had in taking oh, wow. care of my own. And that led me through a very interesting road. At the age of 17, 18 years old, I, I had done very well in, as a high school student and had enough money to go to college. Ended up deciding to keep the business and go to school uh, for business um, and learn my way around the entrepreneurship and, and business world. So that's what I did in, in 1999 is when I left school and continued to grow the business and expand. And it's along the way of actually understanding what your, your product is never really what your product is, right? Mm -hmm. You know, um, cars are not what, you're, what people sell, it's, it's transportation. Mm -hmm. And in aquariums, it's, it is what results, in, what happens in your life from having an aquarium in your space or your environment. And that's what we've learned along the ways and that's the tie-in to recovery, mental health, and just wellness, particularly in the last couple of years, wellness oh, yeah. is so important. Right. And aquariums play a huge role in that. It's years ago, we understood what we really were doing, our why, that, you, know, you know, Simon Sinek has the, the uh, you know, the why of an organization. Why do organizations exist? And he articulated about Apple and what Apple, the technology company, why do they exist? And it was all really, it had nothing to do with the phone or the computer. It was really about beautiful design. And we started, uh, after learning about companies' whys, what was Something Fishy's why? And we really dove in as a strategic session and as our team and looked and said, you know, really what our why is, we believe aquariums move people in amazing ways. We believe aquariums move people in amazing ways. We started looking at that and, and just understanding that that might actually be the product or the service we're offering it's not about the pumps, it's not about the fish, it's about the results. Hmm. And the results are moving people in amazing ways. And we started looking at how that was impacting our clients. So we had clients that were you know, a, a business, a restaurant, and they were using it to, to calm people down while they're waiting for their meal or waiting for a table at the entrance to the restaurant. We had it in corporate offices where uh, our clients were using the aquarium to increase productivity and reduce anxiety a little bit of their workers and create a place that your team wanted to come. And then we had senior living communities that were using aquariums because they wanted to actually calm people down, which is the polar opposite of what we're doing in an office setting. We wanna get people excited. We wanna, we wanna drive productivity, right? And then in, in a nursing home or skilled nursing home or assisted living, you're calming them down. And we started seeing research that proved that in, a wheelchair-ridden resident with anxiety was less likely to fall, try and get out of their chair, when an aquarium was placed in the day room. Hmm. And that was a result of keeping them calm and relaxed as they were being moved in amazing ways with the aquarium. So that's really where you know, we started to understand the product that we really offered. And as you know, with addiction and mental health and, and its entirety in an aquarium and the environment that you're in, particularly during recovery, the environment is what's really important. And the aquarium can contribute a lot to helping you through a very difficult time. You know, now that you say that, I never thought of it that way. But 
when you were introduced to me and you gave me this little fish and I and I look at it and I think a lot of people that have anxiety a lot of people that are in residential treatment can just sit for a minute and see a fish that we have here today to calm them down to actually reflect about what they're doing to their bodies when you have a fish swimming around and you watch it and it's a total different anxiety re reducer. You're right, John. And, you know, we have a small tabletop aquarium here and, uh, and it's very impactful with one fish and mm. you can really get lost in that. Some of our larger exhibits that might be in more of a community center or even in a small apartment, that's really where you, you can get lost and you're kind of distracted from what's going Everything on. Everything else you, is going around. Right? Which is what we, we need that mental time, right? We need mm -hmm. that, that mental vacation. That I need to forget about everything else that I'm thinking about. Maybe just particularly in, in recovery, think about me for a minute. Mm -hmm. And to do just that. The other thing that happens is it is actually intriguing. If you if you have know anyone that was a diver and they went into you know in, into the Bahamas and they were going diving or you know the um, Great Barrier Reef, you are just in awe when you're seeing that. We're bringing a piece of that into your home or your business, and when you are awestruck and like that, and you you see how beautiful these creatures are, and you see the, how they interact, and just the whole environment as a whole, you start to appreciate life a little bit more. Hmm. And when you have an appreciation for life, that's one thing that will help you turn the switch. Turn the switch, and and start realizing that. Some of the things that you might have previously done to your body, whether it's addiction, whether it's not taking care of yourself, it could be food. You know, being in an in a environment that helps promote health, wellness and just appreciation, I think, really goes a long way for you, recovery. You know, I, I never thought of it that way. And I'm sure people, when they turn on the show and they do the intro, something's fishy. <laughs> you know, they're going to say, is to Sony all right, <laughs> or, or is he, you know, drinking the Kool Aid over here? But you know, as more and more, Kurt, as you as you talk about this, the more and more I I see it, me taking a back seat and say, you know what, Th this guy has got something here, he's got something here. Yes. Because when you're, when you go into a residential treatment facility, wherever it may be, whether it's in Rhode Island, Florida, or wherever. And, but if you look at this beautiful fish and you just sit there and watch the fish go around, it makes you mellow. It does. It makes you mellow. I'm going to take a quick break because I want to... You got me intrigued about this, something's fishy. You're watching Recovery TV and I'm your host, Shanta Sony. We'll be right back after these messages. And it's all about the fish. And now back... To Recovery TV with your host, John J. Tassoni Jr. Recovery TV is made possible by our supporting sponsors and our title sponsor, AdCare. Now, here's John and today's guest. Welcome back to Recovery TV, and I'm your host, John Tassoni. You're not even going to believe this. Something's fishy in the recovery world. My guest, Kurt Harrington, he, they call himself the fish guy. Welcome, and thank you for joining us today. <laughs> thank you. You know, it, it's amazing to me that someone with a goldfish at seven, eight years old turns into a, an organization with 16 employees, and now you just indicated to me that you bought another company in Boston. And, and it's amazing to me that there's a lot of aquariums in these big organizations because of the attitude of bringing people down, you know, think calming. better, calming, especially in the recovery community because we are all in a quagmire right now with the amount of people that are dying of overdoses, a lot of people in residential treatment, and the ball just keeps on turning. And, 
the amount of substances that are in the community, the amount of alcohol that people are drinking, up 300% in sales since COVID. And, and now we bring you in and we got a fish. <laughs> we got a fish. fish so, one fish at a time. Yeah, exactly. Save you the know, world. You save the world one fish at a time. But, you know, when, when you look at the perspective of aquariums and you just sit there and you just see the fish, the movement of the fish, and people, at one time I did have an aquarium. And I'm not going to lie, and, you know, um, unfortunately, I didn't have a company like yours come in and clean it and sure. keep, keep it. You know, mine was one flush at a time, <laughs> oh, <no>. not a fish, <laughs> one flush at a time. But, you know, you, you bring a unique perspective to recovery. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, I, I think that, again, we were talking a little bit about just your environment and recovery and how important that is. It's mm. not, it's the people, it's the things that you have around, it's where you are. Mm. And you want to have an environment that promotes wellness, well-being, mm -hmm. and also purpose along with well, like just appreciation. If, you've, if you go on vacation and you're in the Bahamas and you walk out on the beach, you're in awe, right? And, mm. it, and in that moment in your life, it's probably hard to think why would, you know, why does addiction get in the way? Mm. Why, when, when we are so grateful to have that, um, how, why would you want to risk taking that away mm. with addiction that can lead to death? Right. And, and certainly be, you know, a very difficult life to leave. Here in Rhode Island, you know, whether you might be on Narragansett, but I'm a beach guy, I'm a water guy, obviously. So, mm. but when you see that, that, those breathtaking moments make us a little bit more appreciative of what life we have right? and hopefully help us protect ourselves mm. and protect you know ourselves from something like addiction mm. with aquariums you can bring that into the environment whether that is you know the first time you're going into an addiction recovery center or it's at home or in your room you know that is something that is a piece of uh, it, it's it creates a healing environment that's really important during that those times of, of people's lives when they're going through difficult you know, you know people that of in, in recovery, um, you don't have to buy a gazillion dollar fish tank. No. You can buy a little fish tank, a couple of fish, put it on your kitchen table, put it at, at where your TV is. Tell us how yeah. how we get to you. Sure. So it's a, you know our small product is Amphora, which is uh, sitting next to me here. Amphora is a, a vase, a centerpiece with a betta fish in it. Betta fish are, or, or their origin is from Thailand where they're found in rice puddles. Very small bodies of water, which is where they thrive. Betta fish actually do not do well or as well in larger bodies of water. They love to be independent in, in a small uh, area. So from a, a amphora vase to a smaller desktop aquarium, uh, all of those can contribute. We also go into aquariums that are larger, um, and, you know, in the entryway to my home, we have a large tank that is, was an attraction for Thanksgiving, right? And, and Thanksgiving, uh, the guests that came over were just, and I have nieces that are, you know, from babies to uh, seven, eight, nine years old, and they're all in awe at that. Um, as far as, uh, uh, you know, something fishy and, and what we do, we work with our customers and clients to go in and, and look at design. Where is the best place? Let's look at in you know um, recovery, for example. If it was a recovery um, home, it might be the kind of the day room. Where are people coming together? You know, that, that might be a really nice place where you can kind of have a destination after a meal time or mm -hmm. when you might be, you know, just need a, a boost of energy and just reassurance, that kind of environment. But you can also have it in a private room. Like it might even be in the bedroom where you really need solitude and, and that's where you're gonna uh, meditate or just relax and, and be comfortable and, and you know, have some energy in that space. So uh, we, are, we emphasize design as step one. We also have a showroom in Warwick, Rhode Island and our showroom has different design elements so you can see mm -hmm. applications from small to large in different settings. And uh, then once uh, we work with a client on a design and provide a proposal, whether it be from an $85 fishbowl to as large as you could imagine, the, we then provide the full installation. So we're working on, we have a furniture line that is no different than buying a credenza. It, we just come in, in a couple of hours it's fully set up. 
and uh, ready to go when we add fish. Uh, two custom in-wall um, in-wall units that might be designed between, say, a living room and a dining room, or two mm -hmm. two types of uh, rooms in a commercial environment. And we handle that whole process as well. Might take a couple more days, uh, but it's pretty turnkey as far as the approach. Then the key, John, is that we take care of the aquarium for our clients. Our clients are completely hands off. They get to be involved in the daily feeding, which is really fun. And everybody, particularly in a location with a residence um, or if it's a business, uh, you'll have people that are, are, will be fighting over who gets to feed the fish. Mm. So uh, we administer what food they should get and when, and pre, you know, put that out in, in containers and you use the Monday container to feed the fish on Monday. So it's a no-brainer. It's, it's a feeding frenzy. It's a, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> yeah, so we take care of all the work. Fish selection, are pro the fish are provided by us and the fish selection. And our clients can either buy or they can they can lease a unit so there's no upfront costs. Mm -hmm. Now I know I know you said your mom bought you a fish when you were eight, eight years old. Then you turned it into a, a cleaning per se company. So when you went after school, you went from high school. Up, I believe you said you went to college. I went to college for two years, yeah. and then I, I had uh, two, part, two or three part-time employees at the time, and I left the winter semester. I took the winter semester off and then the summer, as would be typical, and I decided I was going to hire a couple of marine biologists to, to support the team. And I was going to take that nine months or so to train them. So from January to September, and then I'd go back to college. Um, that was after two years of school. I took that time off to train. And then it just blew up. And uh, we've, I've never gone back. All right. So we're going to talk more about that when we come back. I'm Great. going to take a break so I can pay for the fish. You're watching Recovery TV, and I'm your host, Sean Tassoni. Something's fishy in the recovery world. We'll be right back after these messages. And now, back to Recovery TV with your host, John J. Tassoni, Jr. Recovery TV is made possible by our supporting sponsors and our title sponsor, AdCare. Now, here's John and today's guest. Welcome back to Recovery TV, and I'm your host, John Tassoni. We have it, the fish guy. Something fishy. We just named our fish. Here's our fish right over here. The new name for our fish is Recovery. I love it. So uh, something's fishy. So Kurt Harrington has been my guest. Thank you so much for coming in. And, th and thank you for what you do. Um, because not many people would have, would have realized. They probably would have said, John, are you going daffy? Bringing on a guy that's got fish? But you know what? After having this discussion, having people watch this show, I know you're going to get calls. Because I think it's very much needed. So how do people get in, in touch with you, Kurt? Well, first, thank you. You guys are doing the hard work. Recovery is not an easy road. And if there's any way that we can help, that's, that's what's most important to us. We can be reached. Of course, our phone number is toll-free, 877-FISH-TALK, 877-FISH-TALK. Our website is somethingfishyinc.com. And we are located on 175 Metro Center Boulevard in Warwick. So, so wh what's next? Oh, a lot, of, a lot of good things in the new year. So we've had a great couple of years. We just put the finishing touches on a brand new showroom. We have 9,000 square feet inside our showroom. You can come grab a cup of coffee, relax. We have space for the community to hang out and uh, really enjoy the space that we've created, of course, with many, many aquariums that you can check out. Well, I, I want to thank you for coming on today and giving us a little insight about fish. You'll be getting calls. I, I know you'll be getting calls because this is something that I don't think people realize. Something's fishy in Rhode Island. So thank you. <laughs> Thanks, John. You've been watching Recovery TV, and I'm your host, John Tassoni, with my new friend, Recovery. We'll see you next week. <laughs>